hey everybody welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is doing well today we are doing something different we're going to boil you some corn and some milk i first started off by adding i think it was two cups of water and then i just started adding a whole bunch of milk to a big pot now i have been seeing a lot of people talk about the corn boiling and milk and I thought I should give it a try and oh my gosh y'all it is so good it, it almost gives you cream corn vibes so instead of using sugar we actually are going to use some honey to sweeten it up I figured honey was a little better and after doing some research I seen that honey gives it a better flavor I do usually put sugar in my corn but this time we use honey so you want to go ahead and stir up your honey up in your milk while you're fired or your heat is on medium heat um, you might can feel the honey sticking to the bottom but you just want to keep stirring it up to get that to get that all incorporated into your milk and water mixture actually adding a little bit of water to your milk will help the milk not overflow you can go ahead and add your imitation vanilla you don't have to go and get no real vanilla for the corn imitation vanilla is perfect add your fresh corn this corn was like two dollars at the Safeway here in Maryland and they had the white corn and the yellow corn I went on here and got the yellow corn and I added some unsalted butter to it to give it that buttery milky flavor oh my gosh y'all and this is the process of it getting thickened and you know as it keep, keeps cooking it gets thicker and thicker now we're going to fry up some rockfish with peppers um, oh my gosh, it had the house smelling so freaking good. Rockfish is a type of bass fish and it's also a fish that's found in Maryland. And I decided to give it a try and I've been hooked ever since. So I just sauteed that in some oil. These are the seasonings I use. I try to use no salt. I wanted it to be more Cajun spicy so I had the paprika and the cayenne pepper. And I love garlic. Then I, in the same pan, put some scallops, some scallops and some shrimp. And then I add a little bit more butter to it. Oh my gosh, it was so freaking good, y'all. The house was smelling amazing. It was a great, great, great dinner. Hurry with shock. He just kept saying, is this the same milk that you use for everything else? I said, yep.